Resistivity and conductivity are both terms used when discussing the electrical properties of wafer dicing cutting water. Resistivity is the specific electrical resistance of a given material. The unit of resistivity is the ohm meter, represented by the Greek letter rho. Conductivity is the specific electrical conductance of a given material. The unit of conductivity is Siemens per meter, with the Greek letter sigma as its symbol. How does resistivity relate to conductivity? Resistivity is equal to the inverse of conductivity, and of course this means conductivity is the inverse of resistivity. Here are some equivalent values. 1 ohm meter is equal to 1 siemens per meter, 1 kilo ohm meter is equal to 1 milli siemens per meter, and 1 mega ohm meter is equal to 1 micro siemens per meter. Today, we will be using mega ohm centimeters and micro siemens per centimeter. The relationship between mega ohm centimeters and micro siemens per centimeter is the same as that of mega ohm meters and micro siemens per meter. That is to say that one mega ohm centimeter is equal to one micro siemens per centimeter. Why control the resistivity of the cutting water? Water used in the wafer dicing process is typically deionized to remove the impurities found in city water. By definition, water that has been deionized has had its ions removed. Without these ions, water cannot conduct electricity and becomes highly resistive. Deionized water used in wafer dicing is typically around 18 mega ohm centimeters. Why is resistive cutting water a problem? The problem is that the friction of the dicing blade creates a static charge. The fact that dicing water is highly resistive means that it will not dissipate this charge, but in fact will support it. The charge, if dissipated through the wafer, would damage the circuits on the wafer, creating significant yield loss. Additionally, even a relatively small charge will attract silicon particles to the surface of the wafer, making it difficult to clean. Fortunately, the resistivity of dicing water can be adjusted by adding Dynatex International's dicing fluid, Curfade. Today, we are using Curfade KA286. To allow greater control of the resistivity, we at Dynatex have performed a simple experiment in which we varied the dilution ratio of curfade to deionized water and then tested the resulting solution for resistivity. Here is a table that lists the results. You can use these results to determine what ratio to use, or perform a similar experiment to find your own ideal ratio. As you can see, it's simply a matter of using a specific amount of Curfade 286 to set the resistivity of the dicing water. In summary, highly resistive deionized water supports a static charge. The charge can damage devices and prohibits cleaning of the wafer. To resolve these issues and preserve the integrity of your wafers, reduce the resistivity of the wafer dicing cutting water to below 1 mega ohm centimeter by adding Curfade 286.